everyone welcome to rebel network media please kindly subscribe to this channel for interesting news thank you all for listening a group of Igbo lawyers resident in the united kingdom has described as illegal the arrest and detention of nabdi kanu by the nigerian government the legal practitioners under the auspice of the coalition of Igbo British lawyers condemned the Kenya government for arresting the leader of the indigenous people of Bafra, who is also a British citizen, and handling him over to the Nigerian government. The group revealed this in a statement signed by Barista Ebuka Okoro for Okora for and made available to uh, the reporter on Wednesday. According to the lawyers, the Kenya government has violated the human rights of, of Canon, who also possesses both Nigerian and British passports. Coalition of Igbo British lawyers condemns the illegal detention and subsequent handling over of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Nabdi Kano, to the Nigerian government by the Kenya government. The coalition of Igbo British lawyers, in a statement issued and signed by Anthony E. R. Okorafo on the 30th of June 2021 at his Glass Grow residence in the United Kingdom, has condemned the illegal and uh, manner in which the Kenya government has acted in the illegal detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Bafra, Mazin Abdekanu. It is, it also condemned the subsequent handling him over uh, to the Nigeria government without any due process. It is worthy of note to mention that Mazin Abdekanu entered Kenya with the British passport, and the Kenya government is fully aware of its citizenship status, but still went ahead to perpetrate their illegal act, which does not only breach the personal human rights of Mazi Namdi Kanu, but also undermine the sovereignty of the British government, the statement reads in part. The group also disclosed that the illegal action which will be addressed at the International Criminal Court in the Hague, the Netherlands, why asking the Nigerian government to convey Kano back to the United Kingdom before the expiration of 48 hours. The Igbo British lawyers also stated that the failure of the Nigerian government to do so has declared war on Kanu, IPOP, and the entire Igbos. Why this serves as a pre-action notice to the Kenya government, as we shall be heading to the International Criminal Court to rectify the injustice done as it is right law, that, that injustice to one is injustice to all. We are also, by this medium, informing the Nigerian government that they have 48 hours to return Mazi Nabdi Kano to the United Kingdom. And if he has any charge to answer to, they should, as a nation that is governed by the Constitution, pass through the legal means of filing an extradition notice as failure to do so we shall not hesitate to term this a declaration of war on not only Mazin Namdi Kanu and IPOP but all Igbos generally and this we shall vehemently resist with all apparatus of law available at our disposal why all this is being done, the Nigerian government is also being warned that no bodily harm whatsoever must be done to Mazi Nabdi Kano 
to avoid the total breakdown of law and order in the fast crumbling entity called Nigeria, the Igbo British lawyers added in the statement. So guys, the Igbo British lawyers are, are, are saying according, uh, accordingly that the Kenya government has violated the human rights of uh, Nandikano, who possesses both the Nigeria and British passports. Therefore, they want him to be repatriated back within 48 hours uh, uh, from Nigeria back to British. So guys, let's know your view concerning this news. Your thoughts are highly welcome. Please drop your comment. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you all for listening.